the same teaching. And that's what the Trinity teaches also. Because that is such a given.
Nevertheless, here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes time interval before we get into the neck, into the race itself. And while that's happening, I will go through the grid alongside a couple of other things. And oh, TTV readying up a little bit too early there. Someone's a bit too eager. Log eggs, death as well. they're a bit too eager to get started. Ooh, it actually looks like everyone else is uh, readying up no time in, no three minute interval, interestingly. As we go into the formation lap, 17 regions in this country. Barcelona FC, one of the most successful clubs in the world. And 
and Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. As far as the track is concerned, 19, the 1993 race saw Senna, Prost and Michael Schumacher on the podium. And by the end of, this, and by the end of their careers, they would have 14 world titles between them. And since 1991, only 11 drivers have finished on the podium from lower than fifth on the grid. The circuit also hosts a round of the MotoGP as well. We've got 16 corners, 2.8 miles, two DRS zones. One of them we just, we just went past between turns nine and 10. And of course, down the main street. The action zones to look out for down the main street into turn one, of course, 1991. Nigel Mantel and Ayrton Senna. And then of course 2016 and 2018, both scenes of accidents at the start. 2016, the accident between the Mercedes drivers of Hamilton and Rosberg. And 2018 with that huge smokescreen crash at the start as well. Three tie compounds, the soft, the super softs, the softs, and the, the mediums. Got a mixture of all three compounds. Got a mixture of all three compounds on the grid. We've got X Senpei. We've got Senpei Brian. Starting at the back of the grid. But nevertheless. It is lights out and away we go. Great start there from Dr. Vader. The Renaults off to a great start as well, but oh, look out for Dangerous Dodo. They're gonna try and look for second place. They're gonna try and go around the outside, but it isn't happening. The, the two Renault drivers maintain first and second. They'll fight to sector one already. And we've got, oh, Dr. Vader dropping down the order. And that's one of the uh, Williams as well. Big Abdullah didn't even make the start. Not only was he unable to qualify, he didn't even make the start. Marvin with a five second go pe stop go penalty for ignoring yellow flags. Must have made an overtake under the yellow flags. He'll need to give that place back. But oh my goodness me, that is a bad start for Vader. Renault's Holding station, holding ground. 33 laps of this circuit. Again, like I say, this is a combination of drivers from divisions one and two. I only know the drivers that are in division two. I don't know a majority of the drivers that are from division one. Nevertheless, Chimera first. Boss and uh, Mar 7 in 2nd, Dangerous Dodo 3rd, Hyde in 4th, Kevar in 5th, TTV 6th, Dopex 7th, Log 8th, Rifey in 9th, Vigo rounding up the top 10. Then you've got Twitchy Break, then Senpei Brian, Hunter, Krizko, Mr. Van Den, Mr. Van Den Elzen, Marvin, Rossro, Dr. Vader, Betflu, and that is the order as we head into the second lap. After this lap, the DRS will be enabled. And oh, and there we go, Dr. Vader getting a stop go penalty as well for corner cutting and gaining a place illegally. Kima had just knocked three seconds off the fastest lap of the race.
Dr. Vader starting to make their way up the field now. further back while you've got the Renos pulling away from Dangerous Dodo. And Mars 7 finished second in the championship in Division 1. We've got one of the Ferraris way down the field. You wouldn't normally see that unless there was a major incident they were caught up in. And we've got Dangerous Dodo and Kevar already in the pits. That's very early to be on a new set of tyres. Uh, Mar 7 in the pit uh, with a time penalty as well. Dangerous Dodo with a time penalty as well. This is very exciting stuff here. It looks like Mar Marvin had technical issues. But he managed to get those issues fixed. We're on to lap four. DRS is now enabled. starting to make his way through the field oh and that, that Chris has gone wide Rosso takes full advantage Hyde and TTV in the pits as well very early to be going for a pit stop but of course as the track starts to rubber in make things very interesting oh little twitch there from twitchy living up to his name not intentionally and ross row continuing to plow through the field he is a man on a mission here a sit we'll say but brian in the force india and dr vader look at that look at the number of places they've made up off the start dr vader seventh up 11 places and Senpei who started at the back is up 12 places incredible absolutely incredible not very often I'm left lost for words but like this is one of those cases where that is happening. We've got Rifey in the pits well. Key mirror for the penalty. Rosso now up into seventh. Dopex with a time penalty as well. A lot of the guys that are on the super softs. Coming in, Vigo and Marvin are the only drivers yet to come in from their stop on the Super Softs.
But we're on to lap seven now. Kimura still leading from Mar seven. Vigo in the pits now. Is Marvin going to follow suit? Rosso now up into sixth place. Hyde now in for in Hyde, who's in the top ten. Oh, TTV, as I say that, gets the new fastest lap of the race so far, but granted it's still early days in the race yet. Renault still battling it out for the lead as we head into lap eight. Marvin still soldiering on with those super softs. And as I say that, he comes into the pits. Now everyone will be either an... Oh, Marvin gets a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. How's about that? That's, uh, that's just made things a little interesting. flags in sector one. Bet flu in the pits now. On lap seven. Or oh, lap eight even. Onto the mediums. And these guys will be going for either a one or a two stop depending on the tyres you started on. Crossroad with a time penalty as well. And Crisco hunting down Dodo, which is interesting. We're about a third of the way through the race now. Twitchy break with a time penalty. And, ooh. Chris Cole there. Oof. Had a bit of a scare there. And that's it. He's out. Chris Cole's out of the race. That is really unfortunate there for him. He must have had some sort of technical issue heading into the pits. And as a result, he was a goner.
and Mr. Oh my word. And we've had another DNF as well, Mr. Van Denels. Mr. Van Den Elzen, also out of the race. And that's a real shame there. To lap 11, officially a third of the way through the race now. And Mars 7 now leading. But Marvin in the Ferrari sets the fastest lap at Dr. Vida with another time penalty. And this man, Dr. S this man, S this man, Senpei Brian, simply incredible work here. He's up into sixth. He started at the back of the grid because he missed qualifying. He's got Dangerous Dodo right behind him. time penalty they've got to be careful with these time penalties otherwise they risk disqualification from the race but hunter is it mar seven in the pits now hunter with a time penalty mar seven in the pits now after 12 laps on those soft tires dr vader in the pits as well Seven on to the mediums. What's Dr. Vader gonna go for? Senpei in the pits as well. 11 laps on the mediums, that's quite interesting. And Dr. Vader sticking with the softs. They'll need to make another stop for that mandatory tire compound change. Because you've got to use at least two compounds. Otherwise, you risk disqualification from the race. now coming in for his stop on lap 13. Dopex in the pits as well now, which means Mars 7 is going to take the lead back in the race. Things are getting very interesting here.
about how this is going to impact the rest of the race remains to be seen. Ross Rowe incredibly up into second place. Ross Rowe and Hunter the only drivers yet to make a stop. Dodo with DRS. Dodo hunting the pack down. got the Renaults back at the front as they have done pretty much since the start. Dodo hunting down his teammate Rosro. Out of the race as well now. Half distance now. Rosro and Hunter still to make their stops. Rosro still soldiering on on those mediums. You've got to think it's only a matter of time before he has to make his stop. And Dangerous Dodo goes for the move. It wasn't for happening. Overtaking Hunter into 11th place. Twitchy break with a 10 second time penalty for corner cutting. And Dodo now into the lead. Senpei. Three second penalty. Dodo in the pits. Now, why would he be in the pits again? He's on to the mediums. He'll be going to the end of the race. Looks like it's a set of softs for TTV. And still, Rosro and Hunter soldier on. The ties that they're on. Heading into lap 18 now. Let's update you on the order. Twitchy break has been lapped. And that was what that was one of the Salbers. That was one of the Salbers. I think it was Vigio. It was Vigio. Log overtakes him. 
And Twitchy breaks out. Down to 15 now. Rifian log into the pits now and Vigil's out of the race now. Oh my goodness me, everyone is dropping like flies now. And this is Wow. And TTD in 12th now, battling outside. All the Red Bulls. Rosro and Hunter still soldiering on it. Oh, TTV almost got the overtake done. They've got DRS wide open. They're going to try and go the outside. Will they make the move stick? No, they won't. Hyde maintains position on the track. TTV manages to get past. We're on to lap 19 now. 15 to go. Rosro and Hunter still soldiering on on those mediums. They are definitely going for a one stop. Dr. Vader with a time penalty. He's up into fourth at the moment. Hunting Rosro down. Trying to go for the overtake on the DRS zone, but he, makes, he goes for the move anyway, and he makes it stick. I think that's a sign that Rosso is going to need to come in. Rosso is going to need to come in and change those ties because it's unlikely he's going to be able to keep them going for much longer. Kimura takes the lead and Rosso in the pits now. Hunter. 19 laps on these tyres. Rosro going for the softs. He'll definitely be going to the end of the race on those unless Hunter's feeling brave enough to go for the meet, go for the super softs. Manages to slow, manages to slow down perfectly. As a result, we'll minimise the amount of time he loses in the pit stop. But he too goes on to a set of softs. So having a look, Dr. Vader yet to use a second compound. Dr. Vader, the only driver yet to use a second compound. If he doesn't use a second compound, he risks disqualification from the race. But here's a battle for the last two points paying positions. TTV, Rosro, and Hyde. Oh in the battle for ninth and 10th positions. This is gonna be a great battle for the last points paying positions as we head to the closing stages of the race. We are almost at two thirds race distance. Marvin with a five second penalty again for speeding in the pit lane. You've really gotta be careful with these penalties otherwise Accumulate too many and you risk disqualification from the race.
Yellow flags in sector two. And TTV's gone. TTV is gone. Rossrow and Hyde up into eighth and ninth. How's about that? I mean, you'd have to say out of the two division champions, you'd have to say out of the two division champions, Dr. Vader showing why he is the division one champion. Kevar in the pits after 17 laps on those medium tires. He's now coming in. What tyres is he going to go for? He goes on to the softs. Lap 22 now, two thirds race distance done. Hyde hunting Rossrow down for seventh place. You've got Marvin battling his teammate for the last point of pain position. Hyde is closing in. But how long is it going to take before he manages to make? The move, Marvin gets ahead of Kevar. Senpei in the pits now. Ross will go up to sixth, Hyde will go up into seventh. Senpei should be okay, should be able to maintain eighth place. Unless Marvin... The TTVs managed to get ahead. Senpei almost out the points. They managed to keep that last points pin position. Kevar with a time penalty has to give the place back after that time penalty for the corner infringement. Lap 24 now, and the Renaults still leading the charge. We've lost Vigil, Twitchy Break, Betflu, Chris Co, and Mr. Van Den Elzen. Those are the drivers that we've lost from the race. Just Dodo with another time penalty. We need to wait and see what happens with these time penalties to see who wins the race. Dr. Vader in the pits now. Which means Dopex now takes that last po podium position for now. Dr. Vader on the super softs. So there we go, it was a two stop strategy he was on. Fingers crossed it pays off for him.
And we've got a handful of laps to go. Marvin into eighth now. Trying his best to defend from TTV. Dr. Vader, the only driver on Super Softs right now, unless someone decides to make another stop soon. Not much change at the moment, but we've got, ooh, as I say that, Hyde with another time penalty. It looks like everyone's had a time penalty at some point during the race. And as I say that, Rossville gets another one. Vader ahead of Dangerous Dodo now. And the fastest lap of the race, 17 8, 8, 9. And it turns out that Dr. Vader now has the fastest lap ever around this track for the race. Daniel Ricciardo held it last year. So well done to... TTV in the pits now, we're on lap 28 now, five laps to go after this. The Renaults have dominated this race weekend. Maybe I should have mentioned why we chose the Spanish Grand Prix, the Catalonia circuit in particular for this was because earlier today, we also had the actual Spanish Grand Prix take place. I won't spoil what happened as far as the result is concerned because I'm not that sort of person. I'm not the sort of person that does spoilers, so you're in safe hands with me. Is Dr. Vader going to be able to hunt down 
Dolpex and take that last podium position in time or will he have to accept that he won't be on the podium today? We we'll just need to wait and see what happens. Just so happens we've got Dr. Vader closing that gap on Dopex. Needs to close it at a rate of about two seconds a lap. Kevar with another time penalty. Dr. Vader just under seven seconds behind Dopex now. Those super soft tyres are definitely going to be wearing pretty... wearing out pretty soon. TTV gets ahead of Rifey. They've still got a fit. But they've still got a fair bit to go to catch up with Kevar. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. So it looks like unless Kevar has a huge mistake, he will take that last point in position. Great battle for 12th place between Rifey and Hunter. Two laps to go. With two laps to go, Key Mirror and Mar 7 on the verge of a Renault. One, two. The last time we had, last time we had a Renault one, two, was way back in the days of Fernando Alonso back in two thousand and six. Key mirror about three seconds ahead of Mar seven. time penalty there. And as it turns out, there wasn't actually a Renault 1-2 back 
in 2006. You would have to go all the way back to 2005 for that to have happened. But it's been a fantastic Actually, scratch that. We didn't even have a Renault 1 2 in 2005. I am very sadly mistaken. I apologize for the inaccuracy, folks. But nevertheless, key mirror. Who didn't win a championship. But you give him a fast car. And you can guarantee he'll deliver the results. Key mirror wins the Spanish Grand Prix and his teammate Mar 7 takes second place. Dr. Vader isn't gonna catch Dopex, which means Dopex in the Haas, who had a strong performance throughout Division 2. He will be in Division 2 next season, but he takes third place and the last place on the podium. Marvin starting to plow his way up through the field. Dr. Vader comes across the line. Finishes fourth. Dangerous Dodo. Ross Rowe, sixth. And this is all with time penalties taken into account. Hyden, you know, right, and there we go. Senpei up into eighth. Marvin knocks down to ninth. Tenth even. Kevar up to ninth. TV's got Rifey, Hunter. Was it logs already finished because they were a lap down? Well, not the most eventful race. But one that definitely delivered a very interesting result. We've never had a Renault 1-2 before. And that all changed today. Congratulations to Kimura, the winner of the race. So Dopex was the best out of the division two drivers today. So there we are, there are your race results. Key Mirror, Mar 7, Dopex, Dr. Vader, Dangerous Dodo, Ross Rowe, Hyde, Senpei Brian, Kevar, and Marvin all scoring points. Well, that is it for the European Racing League this season. Join us next season for F1 2019, which will be getting underway in just a few weeks' time. We're not sure what we're going to be doing as far as Formula 2 being incorporated into the league is concerned, but we'll find out soon enough. But nevertheless, it's good night from me, and thanks very much for watching.